Yo, what's going on, guys? Crispy Flakes here. So we are going to be talking about Andre Drummond. Some of you guys might be wondering what happened to the Philadelphia 76ers video. Uh, just people didn't really have great interests with it. So I decided to do a more interesting topic today just because sometimes you got to reevaluate no matter how hard you work on something, right, man? So we are talking about Andre Drummond and the Los Angeles Lakers. I'm not doing push-ups in this video. I already did them in the last one despite it being deleted. But uh, regardless, man, so... The uh, Lakers are interested in re-signing Andre Drummond this NBA offseason. And this has been like a huge topic of debate just because when it comes down to it, uh, you know, people really just kind of like have their own value when it comes to Drummond and what exactly he's worth on the free agent market and uh, how much of your cap space you want to use on the big man, right? And uh, nobody knows Andre Drummond better than me. I watched him for eight seasons on the Detroit Pistons. You know, I remember his first game where he really broke out, in my opinion. I believe it was against the uh, Charlotte Hornets. Like, he was playing like a beast, right, man? So, um, I remember being really excited about him. And, you know, early on in his NBA career, he was just, like, grabbing so many rebounds in a way that we've not really seen in a long time. And I really thought he would be something. Now, uh, obviously, the past few seasons, he's uh, not been viewed that way, right? And it's funny because eventually he got traded to the Cleveland Cavaliers, then, you know, bought out now the Los Angeles Lakers. And the entire time, you know, I, I was I would always complain about his hook shot. People would be like, Crispy, like, I'm sure it's not that bad or whatever. I'm sure it's fine. Um, now I get, like, daily messages from, you know, Cavalier, well, before Cavalier fans, now Laker fans saying, yo, Crispy, that hook shot, you were completely right about that. That thing was absolutely garbage, right, man? So, um, yeah, when it comes down to it, like, like Drummond's okay. I feel like Drummond's okay. How much would I personally pay him um, to be a center on my basketball team? Well, obviously not the Max, because that's what people thought. You know, he thought he was going to get that with the Pistons, and we'd trade him away just like that, right? But for the Lakers, I would say for the Los Angeles Lakers, okay, uh, Drummond has to, be, has to view it this way. Not only, like, does he get to live in L.A. instead of Detroit or Cleveland, but also he gets to play with LeBron James, Anthony Davis. Like, in my opinion, there is, like, you know, a certain premium that comes with that. Um, I would say for Andre Drummond to remain on the Los Angeles Lakers, I would pay him roughly, man, Clint Capella gets, like, $15 million a season. Um, I feel like Clint Capella is a little bit better than Drummond, if I'm being honest. So I'm going to say, like, 10 to 12 million dollars i would give him like a three-year deal that gets him right around the age of 30 uh who knows maybe the nba changes to some extent by the time he's 30 and big guys are sought out a little bit more at least that type of big guy but i don't think so but i would say around 10 to 12 million dollars is about the right range for andre drummond to stay you know with the los angeles lakers now you know if he wants to seek out more money elsewhere there could be some small market teams that um that would pay him a little bit more money. I could see maybe a team like the Charlotte Hornets being interesting just because, you know, they've had Bismack, Biombo, and uh, Cody Zeller for years. It's like maybe they're ready for something else. And I think Drummond's better than both those guys. So that's something you can kind of consider. But uh, yeah, man, like like Drummond's been okay. Um, this Especially in the playoffs, like his field goal percentage is pretty good. About 63% on reading. He's averaged about 10 points, 11 rebounds per game. One steal, one block. I, I don't really feel like he's ever trying to do too much at all. Um, now there obviously is times, you know, especially with him being more of an inside player that, you know, you do miss that outside shot, maybe somebody like a Marcus Saul or something along those lines. Um, and then as far as Andrew Drummond closing games, like that's typically not a great idea. I mean, if I'm being hundred percent honest, man, like when it comes down to it, when it comes to Andre Drummond, do I think that he should even, should the Lakers even want him back? And my hundred percent honesty is no. And that's nothing against Drummond. That's more so against Anthony Davis, man. Anthony Davis does not like playing center. Uh, it was a big reason why, you know, when he was on the Pelicans, they got to Marcus Cousins. He was playing the power forward spot. And in all honesty, man, he was really well. I mean, he's, I mean, Anthony Davis, he's really well. No matter he played point guard, he'd be really good, right, man? Uh, but when it comes down to it, like, Anthony Davis wants to play power forward. So I guess in that case, AD is somebody that can stretch the floor, you know, do anything on the court. So having a guy like Drummond on the inside is not bad. But uh, quite frankly... The best bet for this Lakers team going forward is for Anthony Davis to play center and then get some sort of like guy at the four spot. Have that be maybe Kyle Kuzma, although, you know, Kuzma just kind of seems like uh, I don't know, really know what Kuzma's at these days, man. Uh, right now in the playoffs, you know, early on, he's shooting 24%, 18% from three in about 22 minutes. Like he's 
just lost all confidence um i think when it comes down to kuzma he's kind of you know same light as tyler hero where maybe he's got a little bit too ahead of himself a little bit too hollywood for lack of a better term a little bit too quickly as to really hurting these games man so uh yeah it's like you know if you could resign drum use him as a six man i guess that's something but there you got montrez harrell and montrez harrell has been proven to be like the greatest like six man center of all time i mean really if you think about it man like what other great six man centers can you think about there i'm sure there's a lot in history but montrez is definitely one of the best of all time when it comes down to doing it right so you know if the price is right i would say get drumming back on the lakers around that 10 to 12 million dollars that could be something you know enough to the point where if you find something else better down the line or they decide to go with uh anthony davis at the center spot if davis decides he wants to be that then you know you could still trade drummond's contract away because that's the thing the, the reason um the pistons had, had to well, trade him away for essentially for nothing and then the cleveland cavaliers had to um you know buy him out is because his contract was too much but you know for 10 12 million dollars there's plenty of nba teams that i think would definitely bite on that when it comes down to it so uh yeah i still like the idea of ad at the center spot then maybe go for like a you know I, man for some reason like like tj warren tj warren just seems like he'd be like the perfect fit alongside like an anthony davis on a basketball team but somebody along those lines right man so um yeah with, with uh with anthony davis kind of having some injury issues right now it is really going to be interesting to see you know how a or i was calling him ad <laughs> andre drummond he is ad andre drummond he's more like ad 0.0 that doesn't make no damn sense man i don't really know y'all he's he's a lesser version of the real ad anthony davis but uh no i do expect drummond to get some solid touches but that's the thing about it man it's like uh you know you you cannot rely on drummond to be number one option to get wins that's why the pistons really got past like the eight in the playoffs but uh you know lebron james i think is going to be super aggressive and uh andre drummond he'll be he'll be welcome there in the paint he'll be he'll be you know that despite not having ad it's really going to come down to guys like who's stepping up too man because that's a lot of scoring to replace but you know drummond is good for uh he can have a damn 20 30 point game every now and then it doesn't happen often anymore but he's definitely capable of doing it right so uh i don't know man los angeles lakers you know it's it's I know the management is talking about bringing Drummond back and a lot of it can also be like psychology based where they're just going to tell Drummond what he wants to hear because I will say Drummond is a type of guy that is very emotional based um you'll see it a lot you'll, you'll see it a lot of time with his body language on the court where sometimes he'll miss that hook shot or he'll miss like three put back layups or whatever and their team gets the rebound he'll kind of sulk his way back down the court um so it, it could definitely be like a thing like hey drum we're, th we're thinking about bringing it back because especially a guy like that you know that doesn't really know what his future holds um that can affect your game any little thing especially in the playoffs any way to give your team some sort of edge is a great thing and have that being just you know juicing up drumming and telling them what he wants to hear so that way he plays better that could be important too man that could be extremely important but um you know, when, when it's all said and done, I'm happy Drummond found himself a nice little home. I'm, I'm hoping it's a long-term thing for him, despite maybe me maybe not think it's the best fit. Uh, it's not a bad fit if they just are totally against AD at the center spot. If they keep him at, if they keep AD at power forward, then yeah, Drummond could be a really good cheap option right there, right? Um, and he's stopped shooting threes, which is nice. He doesn't really even attempt anymore. He's attempting zero threes a game in the playoffs, which is really nice to see. Uh, but overall, if he could be a cheap, decent option on a lakers team that you know obviously is a the biggest name franchise out there so anytime you're the lakers and you can get a guy like that on the relative cheap side and kind of uh, keep the cap space open and go for some more superstars you want to do that so there's no way in hell they're going to lock andre drummond into some sort of like uh 30 you know 30 million dollar deal or whatever so uh yeah i would say about 10 to 12 million dollars you guys let me know in the comment section below andre drummond should they bring him back in the first place how much would you personally pay him and uh have you guys even liked him on the lakers so far so he's averaged about 20 minutes a game so the stats you know, let me check out these per 36 real quick here man because that's also not also not, 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 not like the greatest indicator but uh, it's fun to see with a starter like drummond um you know from going for 20 minutes because he used to be a full-time starter you know on the other teams he's been on so his per 36 i'm looking at right now um would be damn Montrez per 36 average about 23 points 10 rebounds maybe they're playing the wrong dude out there so Drummond with the per 36 17 points 18 rebounds per game uh and you know the field goal efficiency all that stuff's gonna stay the same with about two steals two blocks oh, I'm sorry I was looking at Mark Gasol for the steals and blocks oh, about two steals and one block per game okay so Drummond uh defensively you know being able to block shots and have quick hands isn't always the 
greatest indicator of a great defensive player but i will say like andre drummond does okay in the block and assist er, block and uh steal department at times but uh overall i would say he's still a little slow out there when it's all said and done man but uh no like his per 36 is pretty similar to his starter numbers in detroit and everything so yeah uh great value you can get it for about 10 million dollars a season anything more than that i would say is a bit of an overpay especially for los angeles a team that could attract a ton of other free agents out there but that's all we got for this video here man uh sorry uh, <clears throat> excuse me sorry that this one's not like extremely highly edited but uh you know man like yeah i did that 76ers one and it was just doing so poorly so i was like i gotta do something else or i'll lose my mind that's how i'm as a content creator man like i want to get you guys you know subjects and ideas that you guys find interesting and if you don't see that then uh sometimes you gotta do something different right but that's all we got thank you all so much for watching and peace out oh by the way my third channel crispy flakes plays i did just upload a rebuild over there man it's miami heat rebuild crispy flakes plays link to that in the description below that's all we got peace out